There we go. Seems like we're live. Good evening, everyone. Sorry for some Hollow Knight. Let's get started. <laughs> I got a, a wild lap Gaia with me. There we go. <laughs> Super curious. I don't have time to play with you, okay? No messing around today. Um, we are in dirt mouth and we have no money, so what are you even doing here? <laughs> She's very cute, really. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> She's not very happy about being on camera, apparently. That's understandable. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So... Gaia, please. Where's the, the map? Here we go. Um, Where's the, the station? I don't remember if the station is this one or the other one. I think it's this one because this one is bigger. Seems like I was right. Um, well, before we take that, we should look into this. So, I'm looking for, like, areas I can explore. Now, I remember there's quite a lot, um, when it comes to Deep Nest, that I haven't explored yet. Sorry, guy, you're not on camera anymore. <laughs> there's a lot when it comes to Deep Nest that I haven't explored yet. So, I think I'm gonna go back there. But also looking at some of these other areas... I see some stuff that I haven't I haven't done yet. Like here to the left of the fungo wastes, there's something there. Here to the left of the green path, there's something there. Um let me get the marker so I can actually show you. Here on the on the side of of the fungo waste there's something. There's something here too, and there's something here. Well, guy is gone, there we go. So, um, I'm looking at these, there's like stuff down here that it seems like there's so much on the map that we haven't explored yet. Mm -hmm, definitely here at the top of the Crystal Peak, but it didn't seem to me like we could access that right now. What was this thing that I'm... Oh, it's a, it's a vendor. Alright. Not sure what they, what they sell, I, I don't remember that at all. I put something here? I don't remember what that means. <laughs> Seems like we also have a vendor here. No, that's the lazy with the quest for like the in a second the quest for for the dream stuff, right? So I d I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, my primary concern right now is just finding a place to go. So I think we're gonna start with deep nest maybe. Well, we don't really have a path there, but we can take the thingy to the Queen Station and from there just go down to either Deep Nest or to the left of the Fungal Wastes. Seems like that's that's a, a good a good strategy to start with. So let's go to the Queen Station. Haven't fixed the trigger on my controller yet, so I'm hoping that won't be a problem. Just haven't had that much time, to be honest. Been doing like so much shit for university, <laughs> but it's been fun. Tomorrow I'm going to to be working at the primary health center again. Well, if you've followed my Twitter, you've probably seen that I've started kind of like doing like small work. It's not like crazy stuff, but doing small work at primary health center. Since well, I'm here in Brazil, we have universal healthcare. So we have like primary health centers to take care of like regions, right? So this one is like in a favela, which is like the poorest uh, suburbs in, in, in the cities here in Brazil. It's what we call the slums, basically. They're like suburbs, they're kind of like far from the city. Definitely do not want to go to the Fort Canyon. So we go to the right. But, but yeah, I've started kind of doing small work there. Actually, the first day we, we barely... Uh, we, we did some work, but we also, like, got to know the place. It was really cool, actually. Because I, I haven't... I've been to all the primary health centers, but I've been to... Well, as a student, I've been to 
one in the countryside, which was very different. Because in the countryside, it's kind of like a lot poorer, right? So they don't have a lot of people working there. They don't have a lot of, like, s supplies and stuff. And this one was definitely very different. Uh, I've also been to the one that's right next to university. But that one is it's, it's not so much... You know, like, it, it was interesting for me to, to go to the primary health center in the slums, in the favela. And, and get to know the place. And I was actually fairly surprised uh, how, like, well run the place is. Oh, admittedly, there's like at least two, maybe three. Yeah, no, there's like three uni um, university professors that work there as doctors. So I, ca I guess that might be why it feels so organized and so, like, well run. But. Even then, I was I was surprised. Like it's very well supplied, even though on this one they they happen to not have like they have medication for like almost anything you need, like supplies for like HIV. They have that so much for like chronic diseases, of course, like diabetes. Like you you can get like insulin and stuff. You can get like the equipment to measure your your blood sugar. You get those things for free here in Brazil, which is really cool. And they have it all like supplies there, which is really awesome. It was awesome to see. They also have, of course, medication for, like, acute conditions, like, infections and whatnot. You know, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna do this instead. But they they do not, and it's one of the downsides of that one, is they don't actually have any psychiatric medication. They are expected to, but on that one specifically, they did not have much. Oh, do I want to go to the right or do I want to go down to Deep Nest? That's a good question. I, I've been here to the right, actually. It's just like the, the boys, they are infected, right? So it doesn't seem like I can even, I can even talk to them at all. So that kind of sucks. And it doesn't seem like there's anything hidden here. That's all right. So, I guess we're getting down to the deep nest. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's been a lot of fun. So, I'm going there tomorrow in the morning again. Um, we're gonna do stuff like going into patients' homes. Because that's something we do in the primary health center. It's not just... They don't just take consultations. But they actually go like into people's homes to, to actually like make sure everything's up to date, to follow up, that's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to heal, do follow ups on them and stuff, so I think we're gonna be doing that, we're gonna like be seeing some patients, so I'm pretty excited for that. That's kind of like what we did last time, but this time we're gonna spend the whole day doing that, last time we spent like most of the day just like getting to know the place. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, it's just been like so much shit. I'm gonna have a test on Wednesday too. You know, just it's a lot of stuff happening. So I've been kind of tight on time. But I've been trying to keep up with a, with a decent streaming schedule, you know. I've tried not to skimp on it. And I, I think I'm doing okay so far. Well, except that I'm taking quite a lot of damage here that I shouldn't. That's okay. That should allow us to get even one more. There we go. But yeah, I, I think on next week, uh, like this week we're going to the primary health center. Next week, I think we're going to the emergency room. No, well, not the emergency room, but like the, the emergency place. I don't know what you would call that, like emergency health center or something. I know in the, U in the US they have like urgent care, but that's not really what, what this is. This is more like an actual like emergency room, right? But it's not a hospital, because we do have hospitals. Well, I guess emergency room is specifically when you have hospitals. This is not in a hospital, it's kind of like its own separate thing. But it's gonna it's gonna be cool too. It's gonna be like next week, I think. Hello Marina, how are you doing on this evening? I hope you're doing well, it's nice to see you. Well, we keep going down. I hate these boys, they're quite scary. Hope there's no one. Ah! I was gonna say, I hope there's no one here where I am standing. That was just a tiny boy though, but he spooked me. So I'm gonna keep going down and then go to the left, apparently. I wonder if there's gonna be like more stuff here on the deep nest. 
Or if to the left is gonna be like a new area. Wow, I'm really low on health. You need to be careful with that. I made someone delete a disgusting tweet and go private. I'm proud. You you gotta like oh no, this is bad. Um let's get out of here. You gotta be like, you know, stay away from some Twitter drama. Not not talking about like you specifically, because I don't even know if you really get into that much drama. I've, I've never really seen that much drama coming from your account. But I think, like, one of the things that I've done the best, like, one of the best decisions that I've taken in, the, in recent times was kind of, like, try to, trying to stay away from Twitter drama. You know, I still get into it, of course, because sometimes it is inevitable. But, you know, it has improved my mental health quite a lot. Um, well... It doesn't seem like we can actually go this way, apparently. I'm not sure if I'm missing something here. I'm supposed to use the dream now or something. Mm. I don't know, I guess we're going down then. But yeah, like... I think it really improved my mental health a lot to just like, you know... Just try to minimize the, the time I spend arguing with people over nonsense. And there's quite a ton of people who's willing to argue over a nonsense, even when they're wrong. And that's like the craziest thing, right? You would expect people to, like not to waste their time if they know they're wrong. But people do. Go figure. So people just really, 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 really hate stuff. Even when there's like no reason for it. So, oh, I actually found a secret here. Kind of surprised about that. Oh, um... It's not much of a secret, is it? It's not like I have reputation anyway, but I felt like I had to do something about it and it's okay, it turned out good for me. It's not really about reputation, you know, like, I don't really care. I have the reputation of being like an asshole already, right? <laughs> like a bitch. So it's not, it's not about that, it's like about myself, you know, it's like about my own mental health. It's just like... It, it makes me feel better about life in general if I just avoid, like, Twitter conflicts in general. I still get into some, because it is inevitable. And you do have to speak up sometimes, you know? But when, when I see something that's just like, this is just a person being stupid, I usually just try to avoid it. For myself, like I'm, like I'm saying, it's like for my own mental health. You know, like, you end up spending way too much time on stuff like that. And my my time is quite precious, you know, I have all the stuff to do. <laughs> I'm a bit lost here. Oh, well, mm, maybe not that way. It's a very confusing area, but I'll say it is quite interesting. I, I like Deep Nest so far. A bit low visibility, but that's okay. Well, um, here's the thing now. I'm, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> It is a bit annoying that so many of the passages in the area are hidden. So I kind of get into a situation like, mm, did I go somewhere that was where I was supposed to go and just didn't open a secret passage? Just like, didn't find it? But I don't think that's the case. I've been hitting the walls quite thoroughly here. Paying quite a bunch of attention to that. Don't think there's any... Ah! Oh no, that's, that's the wrong dash meant to go down. I don't know, mm. maybe there's something here to the left? It doesn't look like it though. I'm concerned, I'm, I'm quite low on HP and... Haven't, like, haven't found the way to go here yet. Oh, there's, there's an enemy at least. Okay, got some health back. Well, maybe not enough for that. Well, I haven't been there because I've been cutting the... The, the the flowers quite thoroughly, so maybe I want to go up, maybe? Hmm. Can't actually go up from here? That's a problem, then how do I leave this area? Like, even with the double jump, I, I don't actually reach that high. Tomorrow I'm going with two friends of mine. I'm out to one of them, but not to the other one. I want to come out to her before the con. Oh, you're going to a con, anime convention? I assume. I think I've, I've seen you post about it. 
I want to come out to her before the con because I'm going as a girl to the con. And she's going too, so yeah. Thing is, I haven't talked to her in months, so if I hang out with her and then come out through text, it would be less awkward. I, I just think so. I did come out to most of my friends through, t through like, text, so I do recommend that. I think it, it works well, because... Um, not just... Not just it gives time for your friends to think about what they want to say, but it also... I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing. It, it gives some time for, for your friends to, to think about it, you know? Not that my, most of my friends didn't need it. Most of my friends were like immediately like, oh, that explains a lot. But uh, I think in general, you know, especially someone you haven't talked to in a little while, it's definitely easier to go through sex. So here's the problem. We can't actually leave this area. And I've been down here pretty thoroughly. And I don't think that's like... Anything else here, right? I mean, there might be something there, but am I willing to, to take a risk? Not really. So yeah, I think you, you, you should just message her. Just like, hey, I wanted to, to talk to you about something. It's important. It's about the con. And just try to to start the subject some, some way like that. You shouldn't worry it too much, though. Um, especially girls. They, they tend not... Not to have that much prejudice in my experience. Admittedly, my experience is very biased because none of my friends really had much prejudice. But I think girls, boys tend to, to, they can be a little bit more, you know, unreasonable about it. But, oh. Well, you know what? This is good. Because this actually brings us back to the bench, which does two things. First, it updates our map. So we can actually see what's going on. And apparently the way was actually down. Weird. I've, I've been down there like pretty thoroughly. I'm surprised about that. But also this does another thing. Which is allows us to come back and explore the top area that we were unable to explore. So we want to go up here actually. Now apparently that was bad though. Because the way seems to be down. But that's okay. At least we got some of the map, you know. It, it, it helps me a lot to have the map. Because I have some peace of mind. You know, I'm like, alright, I, I don't need to worry too much. I, I know what's going on here. I'm a bit surprised we haven't gotten the map here to the left. Like you can see here on the left, right where there's deep nest. We haven't gotten the map to that area, even though we've been there. And there's like nothing there, really. So I'm not sure why the map there isn't updating. But yeah, just, just, just message your friend. Just try to to pull some conversation and and go into the subject. I I think they'll be very understanding. Hopefully, I hope it goes well for you, and I hope you have fun at the con. I've been to anime cons before when I was younger, but I kind of like didn't like it. I don't know. Maybe it was because I was young. I liked one, I went to one con that I did like, but it was like a tiny con, it was like very very small, there was like barely any people. And the funny thing is, on that con, I actually almost won, I got second place on the on the cosplay contest, even though I wasn't cosplaying anyone. <laughs> I was just like dressed as myself, but I had cut ears on. So they were like, oh my god, you're so cute with cat ears, you should go into the co uh, cosplay contest. And then I did, and, and people were like, oh my god, you're really cute. And then I got second place, apparently. That was back when I was still living as a boy, though. I was like 15, I think. Like, oh my god, that, that was my controller, the, the key for, for the dash got stuck. But I think I was like very early 15s, like I was barely out on my 14s. Yeah, there we go. But it, it was fun. I liked that con. That con was very weird though, because it was so tiny. You need to buy the map first from the bug in order for the map to be filled. I, I have the map for Deep Nest already. Don't worry. I got that. But, oh yeah, I want to come back here. But the, the map, as you are exploring, doesn't actually update as you're exploring. You need to go back to the bench to get it filled. So dying there, the way we died, was actually not that bad because, you know... Or maybe you mean you mean the map for this area? But this area is just this. It's just a house. Like, there's, there's nothing here. 
So, what what area, like, how do I even buy the map for this? This is just a, a house, right? Unless I'm missing something. Doesn't look like it, though. There was nothing on the ceiling. So, I'm a bit confused. Unless the, the passage... Mm, it doesn't fill up when you enter from that side. Huh. So, you, what you're telling me, you need to fight the Mantis Lord. I fought them already. A long time ago, actually. But what you're telling me is that something to the left of the fungal wastes? Like above Deep Nest? But it doesn't seem like I can get that from here. So maybe I'll get that from Deep Nest actually. I don't know. Let's go back to Deep Nest though. Because I know there's stuff here that, that we, we can do. Oh, 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 oh. I want to be careful with these boys. I tend to... I was about to say, I tend to lose way too much health to these boys. But yeah, I've, the, the only nice experience I've had with anime cons was like with a very tiny convention. And it was very weird. Like they had a, a cinema, because they, they had a few like cinema rooms that they arranged to watch anime, right? I mean, it's an anime con. And in one of the rooms, they actually had like a hentai exhibition. And I was like, very weird. <laughs> it was also very weird considering I was underage. So are they allowed to like show hentai to underage people like that? Who fucking knows, right? But I don't know. I guess it was such a tiny convention that nobody really cared. But, but I've been to bigger anime conventions here in Brazil too, and I kind of like didn't really like it, I don't know. I feel like I, I didn't really fit in with like the people or... Oh my god, can you guys like stop spawning? No, apparently they can't. Um, excuse me? Okay. So apparently these boys, they are like infinite spawns. I didn't know that. So here's a problem. I mean, I'm very low on health, so I'm s yeah, I'm I'm scared. So, uh, <laughs> that kind of fucking sucks. Well, we're back here. Don't don't worry, just just some backtracking as always. But but yeah, I've been to the bigger cons and I don't know, I felt like so out of place. I don't know. Maybe it was because I was a bit older and I was. I don't know, struggling with myself in many ways. So maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it. But wait, am I in the right place? Yes, this is correct. But when I went to the smaller con, I enjoyed that quite a lot. That was really fun. Who would complain about the, the hentai cinema? <laughs> it was very odd. It was like very odd hentai. I don't know. Also, they had a thing with, which was like... Let me show you, actually. I think I have it here. One second. to show it though give me a sec I'm gonna look in the... I got my brother's pajamas all over the place So, in the smaller anime con that I've been to, they had a, on the cosplay contest, they had a prize, which was they, one of the artists from the area would do like a drawing of the winners, of the three, top three winners. This is my, this was me when I was 15 years old. Can you see? There you go. That's the, the clothes I was wearing to the to the convention. As you can see, it's not really a cosplay. I was just like as myself. 
But there you go, I won that <laughs> for the cosplay contest. Even though I wasn't even doing any cosplay, but that was fun. It's a cute drawing, isn't it? Maybe I'll post it on Twitter later. Yeah, it was just like actually just my casual clothes and cut ears, I guess. <laughs> but people were people like, oh my god, you're so cute. You should go into the cosplay contest. Also, I think one of the reasons I got placed so highly on the cosplay contest was because it, it was a small con. So there was like a lot of people doing, you know, there was... There were cosplays, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> it wasn't like on a major convention that you go and it's like hundreds of like crazy cosplays that people spend like a year getting ready to do, you know? It was more like, I don't know, like a few people and some of the cosplays were like very like thrown together, right? It wasn't like anything crazy, but yeah. But they, they announced my cosplay as Catboy Cosplay. I was like, alright. <laughs> sure. To say so. But yeah, that, that was fun. I liked that convention. Also, one of the things I liked on that convention is that we got like six people, I think. And we just like got together and started dancing. That Like they started like teaching. Alright, I, I keep forgetting. They, they were like teaching how to do the Hare Hare. Saido, Saido Fuku? Mm, I, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> no, Hare Hare might be another one. I might be mistaken. It. The the Lucky Star one, the, the Sailor Uniform song, the opening. They were like doing the dancing. Which, looking back, it's kind of cringy. But also, it was really fun. Um, No, I didn't want to... Yeah, like I didn't want to come this way. This is not where I want to be. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It seems to be the same thing, maybe? Maybe not? I thought we died here, but also it's not here, so I'm, I'm a bit confused. How's Hollow Knight with the controller? I will say it's not as tight as I wish it was. Like, I definitely struggle a lot with movement. Sometimes. Oh, that's my soul. Like, let me just get away from those guys and try to explain. So, when you're gonna jump up and attack down, right, this is the thing I struggle the most with the controller, because if you're using the analog stick, any movement, any amount of movement to the side makes it so your character does a, a horizontal slash instead of attacking down. So, if you're trying to do those puzzles where you have to bounce off of stuff, you get like absolutely fucked. And here's the thing, I've been trying to use the digital pad a bit more, but the digital pad also doesn't seem like, it seems very sensitive. So sometimes I'm pressing down, but I move it slightly to the left, just slightly, and it moves the, the thingy, because the, the DS3, the DualShock 3 D-pad, it's kind of like interconnected, right? It's kind of like a circle, it's not separate buttons. So when I'm moving down, but I press a little, put a little bit of pressure to the side, it moves the the instead of that the attacking down, I attack to the side and I mess up the puzzle the same way. So I get that a lot when playing Hollow Knight with the controller. So you know, it feels nice for for most situations, especially combat, since it gives you a nice like Dark Souls ish feel, you know, to the combat. But for like platforming, I've struggled a lot with it. I don't know. Maybe it would be better with the keyboard. Since the keys on the keyboard, they're separate. So if you're pressing down on the keyboard, you don't really have any risks of having your character attacked to the left or to the right. Right? But on the, on the controller, that happens a lot with me. And I hate it, but... I'm doing normal cosplay, like school girl from magical side, nothing super fancy. Oh, I thought you were going as a maid from like the maid outfit you posted. Oh, you're going for, with like Maho Shoujo side uniform. That sounds pretty cool. I like their uniforms, they're very cute. I kind of like, I would, I would do cosplay, like it seems like a lot of fun. But also, I don't have money for cosplay. <laughs> so that's why I, I don't do it, but... It seems like really fun. I'd love to do cosplay one day. Maybe on our modes and I have a little bit more money. Wait, we do have a bench here on the deep nest. I completely forgot about that. So I'm actually like gonna go back and try to get the bench. Should be this way. 
That friend I told you about is like semi-professional cosplay. She's super pretty. Actually, I need to move the screen a little bit it's on top of chat. There we go. That's much better. Now I can actually read and, and continue playing. She's super pretty. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't actually go this way. That sucks. So wait. How do I actually get there? I've been there. What? I've been there, obviously, since I have the bench. But how did I get there? This seems closed. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Like, is there another path that will take me there? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that sucks, attacking down with the nail is extremely important. Yeah, even for some boss fights, you wanna like be able to attack down with the nail. And, and I struggle a lot with the controller. But I still enjoy it a lot. It's a DualShock 3. It is a DualShock 3. Not a DualShock 2. Not a DualShock 4. I love the DualShock 3. It's just my favorite controller. So I have like three DualShock 3s that I just bought over the years. Even though I could have bought like much newer controllers like the Xbox One controller or something. But there's something about the DualShock 3 that I just really like, you know. I could have also bought the DualShock 4. Oh no, I, I skipped that area again. Well, there's a mistake on my part. And I may actually be unable, because the passage down might actually not be on this side that I'm at. Well, it seems like I'm past the, the passage down. So... Seems like an issue. Don't make me have to backtrack again, that would be frustrating. That would be really frustrating. Do you have the strong nail attack move, like the ones you hold the key to use? Um, I have two of them, I think, but yeah, there we go. I have this one and I have the cyclone one, but I don't I think it's like three, right? Let me go into the Inventory. Yeah, it seems like it's three. I have two of them. I do not have the third one yet Those are the ones you're talking about, right? I also got um, how do I even use it? How how do I Okay, that's the wrong button. Descending dock, top B and then down. I'm trying. Why why is it not working? Well, I'm out of souls now, so never mind. I've also gotten the descending dock from the the crystal peak recently, and that's fun. Well, we can like keep going down here, but we've been this way. really see anything here. I went as a maid to a school party before Christmas. Cosplays were allowed. That sounds fun. School party with cosplays. <laughs> sounds cute. I mean... This is like I messed up because I think we're stuck here again. I'm very confused though because... Hmm. Let me open them up and take a look at this. It was all trap jokes all over the place. Well, that doesn't sound that fun, but... Let's say we're wearing a cute cosplay sounds fun. Oh, there's something here at the top of the Queen Station too. Maybe we should go that way? I mean, let me put this a bit, a bit further so I can actually see. But yeah, I don't know, like, there's like a passage on the top. But it, it looks like, the way the map shows me, it looks like the passage to the top is blocked. So I'm a bit confused. How did I ever get to this bench? Because I wanted to get that again. I don't I don't see the path. Because this, this is the further left I can go. So I was thinking maybe if I go further left, I could go up. But that doesn't look like it. Hmm. Use them for the deep nest bugs. Depending on your nail, you can one strike them. Oh, that, that actually seems very useful. I've actually never used the, the strong nail attack 7. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna like go back to the page. Because <laughs> this is like we're just listening to the fucking worms like go from one side to the other and not really doing any progress here. I'm a bit confused. How, how do I get to the other side? Not quite sure. But before. Before I give up on this, uh, I want to um, check a few things. Actually, now that I'm back in the Queen Station, I might as well check what's going on on the top. Maybe something to the left will will be like, you know, the area I need to go to, maybe. We'll see. Oh, damn, you played Fallout New Vegas. Yes, I played that for quite a long time. 
But here's the thing, I haven't finished it yet. So I'm like, just just waiting to get back into it, you know? Because I've, I've, I had a break from streaming for a few months. After Christmas, when I got back and... Oh, this is the Fall Canyon. Wait. Okay, it is the, f the Fall Canyon. And I just don't have the map for this area yet. Yeah, on the Fall Canyon, the the guy with the map, he's being blocked by a dock. Like, I remember it's a dock beam. So we can't actually go this way. But yeah, I've, I've taken a break from streaming. And I just kind of recently, in the past few, two, three weeks, got back into streaming again. And I'm kind of like getting back with the backlog, doing Hollow Knight and, and all the stuff. But once I get into the swing of things, I'll definitely go back to follow New Vegas and finish it. I did all of the DLCs, I think, but I haven't finished the main quest yet. 